five best true crime documentaries you need to watch. In the past few years, the public has been fascinated with true crime TV shows and documentaries. From shows like American Crime Story to Making a Murderer, viewers couldn't seem to get enough of the thrill and excitement felt in watching these riveting stories of unsolved murders, wrongful convictions, and everything in between. Whether you want to know more about these murders and learn the ways to prevent becoming a victim, or you just want to get your dose of an adrenaline rush, this video will reveal five of the best true crime documentary series that you need to watch. Number 5. The Jinx The Life and Deaths of Robert Durst Lauded as one of the perfect examples of the true crime genre, The Jinx is a six-part series that delves deep into the case of Robert Durst a brilliant yet obviously troubled millionaire who was suspected of murdering three people, his wife, a friend, and a former neighbor. His vast fortune and prestige apparently enabled him to escape justice over and over again, until he made the wrong move. Nobody tells the whole truth. In the hope to tell his side of the story, Durst, the son of a real estate mogul, sought out to collaborate with show producer Andrew Jarecki to create the series. It all ended up with a jaw-dropping revelation that nearly broke the internet. Without revealing too much about the show, let's just say that the creators of The Jinx helped uncover a new set of evidence that warranted a new trial outside of the camera. This also led to the arrest and the pressing of murder charges to Durst right after the series finale aired on HBO. What the hell did Rachel kill them all? Of course. As what they always say, a fish is caught by its mouth. It's fascinating and at the same time chilling to watch a possible serial killer set up his own downfall. Number 4. Evil Genius The True Story of America's Most Diabolical Bank Heist Netflix's Evil Genius is a docu-series that has an enthralling story, but with a less artful execution. It's like watching the news but the details are a lot more intimate and engaging. Nevertheless, the series can be considered a perfect example of a stranger-than-fiction kind of tale. It chronicles the infamous 2003 Pizza Bomber, who robbed a bank in Iyer, Pennsylvania with a bomb strapped to his collar. It's kind of bizarre, such that the bomber claimed that he was only forced to do so. Trials of evidences lead to a certain Marjorie Deal Armstrong, the titular evil genius who, aside from the case at hand, was also accused of murdering a number of her boyfriends and husbands through the years. I did nothing. But Dial Armstrong is just the tip of the iceberg. As the series progresses, viewers will get to know more and more potential culprits involved in various heinous crimes. Number 3. The Staircase Let's go back to 2005 and rediscover this true crime docuseries by French filmmaker Jean-Xavier de Lestrade. The series, which is often acclaimed as one of the best representatives of the genre, provides viewers a closer look into the North Carolina author Michael Peterson, who was the primary suspect in the killing of his wife, Kathleen, in 2001. Tom 911, where's your emergency? Uh, 1810 Cedar Street, please. What's wrong? My wife's had an accident. She's still breathing. Dark and provocative, the show attempts to humanize a man accused of committing such a horrifying crime. Truth is of no meaning whatsoever. It also provides the viewers a perspective on how the country's criminal justice system works. Watching it, you'd most likely be convinced that the man has been railroaded by the system. The staircase took off more than a decade ago with eight episodes. It was soon followed in 2011 with a couple more installments until Netflix, which currently streams the entirety of the documentary, added three new episodes. The latest slate of episodes examines the judicial proceedings that occurred in 2016 against Peterson. Number 2. The Keepers Riveting and at the same time emotionally draining is Netflix's 2017 true crime series offering The Keepers. It tells the tale of the 1969 unsolved murder of one sister, Kathy Kesnick, a nun and a teacher. The investigation, which is carried out by her former students, posits that Sister Kathy was silenced due to her knowledge about the many cases of sexual abuse committed by some high-ranking people in the Catholic Church. The Keepers also shed light on the apparent power structures maintained within the religious organization, as well as its alleged connivance with the local governments to suppress those who dare reveal the crimes done by priests and officials. While most true crime series focus on the suspects and victims, the Keepers seem to stand out from the rest, as it attempts to give voice to the ones who were left distraught. In the show's case, the sisters of student Kathy. 
And number one, Making a Murderer. You really must be expecting this Netflix show to top our list, and it is for good reason. The docu-series is the testament to the unwavering dedication of the filmmakers, Moira Demos and Laura Ricciardi, who spent more than a decade of their lives to shed light into the cases of Stephen Avery and his nephew, Brendan Dassey. Both were accused for the murder of Teresa Halbach. Avery is a man who spent nearly 20 years of his life in prison due to a wrongful conviction of sexual assault. Years after his release, Avery's name was once again tied to a murder case where he was found guilty and had him sent back behind bars. Dassey was tied into the mess for being an accessory in the crime. Now on its second season, Making a Murderer Season 1 chronicles the arrest, conviction, and subsequent exoneration and release of Avery between the period of 1985 to 2007. It also depicts Dassey's side of the story, focusing on his alleged false confession and failure of his counsel. Thanks for watching and don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this.